Being a real man means being tough, strong, and definitely not girly or sensitive. Where have I heard this argument before? What's bad is when society tells us that being a man means things like strength and power at the expense of being allowed to really feel things. Of course, it's the same exact feminist argument that's been repeated before. The so-called toxic masculinity argument on how men are not allowed to show their emotions and all they care about is being masculine because masculinity is so unbelievably fragile. Jesus fucking Christ, if MTV is not regurgitating the exact same arguments, the Huffington Post is the ex- But imagine if we could change all that. Imagine if you weren't considered any less of a man if you weren't to openly talk about your feelings or binge watch Scandal. Society somehow tells us that we're nothing more than mere fucking machines. Fuck you! I take a beginner ballet class. where ballet was created by men. At least that's what I've been told by other YouTubers. And even if I'm wrong, it's not uncommon for men to join ballet, considering that some acrobats have to take some ballet classes. I mean, do you really expect me to believe that those who are extremely acrobatic didn't take any ballet classes whatsoever? But they were just born fucking flexible, you fuck! This video might as well be why the KKK is good for black people or why Nazism is good for Jews. Feminism is all about options. You want to be a nurse, a teacher, or a stay-at-home dad? No big deal. Uh, no. No, it's not. Anita Sarkeesian herself admitted that feminism is not about choice. Stuffy gender roles say that a man has to provide. Feminism says, who cares? You're no less of a man if it's your wife that brings home the Tubmans. Okay, two things. One, that tattoo is fucking retarded. And two, you know how many men would love to have a, you know, a wife that works and pays all the bills? I would love to be a stay-at-home dad. You know, not only will I get to be, you know, in the kitchen, cleaning, doing whatever, I get to make my YouTube videos while she's out there working. And I'll be doing my hobbies, doing, you know, take care of the kids. You know, all that shit. In the last three decades, we've seen a tremendous surge of women in the workplace, resulting in huge economic growth. Hey, you and I both know that that's just fucking bullshit. And another thing, you guys aren't saying shit for... You know, jobs like mining and garbage men. You don't see women, you know, in those fields. In fact, all you care about is placing women in higher pain fields because feminism is about equality, unless you say otherwise. And with women running this place, we're actually talking about a healthy work-life balance. And now we have time for our hobbies. Hey, Frank. Need help with that pearl stitch? I got no comment. This is what feminism is doing to men. You know, one of the hobbies is knitting sweaters. Kill me. Research shows that couples who split the chores at home actually have more and better sex. Really? I would like to see some statistics right now. Where's the links? The more we can dismantle our rigid ideas about how women look, act, and exist in the world, the more we should be able to do the same for men. Let me guess. Society expects women to be all pretty and nice, high heels and dresses, and be nothing more than mere servants to men. Yeah, those type of stereotypes. Once again, fuck you, Huffington Post. Right, bros? Hey, did you guys know that countries that are closest to gender equality also have the happiest people? I've seen the feminist version of gender equality, and as far as I'm aware, men are not very happy of being equal to women. At least in the feminist sense. Guys, look! Oh! Can you accept this, Rose? Thank you. Oh. No comment. No comment. Yeah, the massive irony here.
here? How did you post originals? There's nothing original about this! It's just a regurgitation of MTV's arguments! Oh my fucking god! Ugh. When would Huffington Post learn that their arguments is total fucking bullshit? I'll tell you when they're gonna learn. Never! Because they have their heads, their, their, their heads shoved up their fucking asses! So goddamn far they can hear the goddamn ocean. Sorry this is not the most entertaining video, but I, I just don't give a shit. You know, just tired. I am the atheist gamer. Keep getting on.